Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so in today's video, and for those of you who are asking why I'm here, uh, my chair in my office has broke, uh, so I need to get that sorted. So today, and also I thought, why not film in my bedroom where you can see Arthur, who is tired again. Oh, my lip gloss. Um, and also Pip, Pippins. Pip is here as well. So I am joined by two today. So yes, in today's video, I'm going to be covering some of the things that I have seen in regards to the questions about the children. I know that I do various videos and things like this, and I do get a lot of questions where people are asking me um, what I think and feel about certain things. So I'm gonna cover why um, I believe these children are in the situation that they're in, these alleged children, should I say. So, if you want to join me in this video, then you can, obviously, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I've got another lady who has done a video, and don't forget to keep bringing these videos into me. My email address is across the bottom here. Um, if you would like to be on this channel, like I said, you don't have to be on camera. You can do it as a voiceover. You can create a funny video. You can have your animals on the video, um, or you can just do a photograph even saying, grab your drink of choice. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as you are saying the words, grab your drink of choice. And if you'd like to add a little something, something, um, then it's five o'clock somewhere. So you can do that. But and if you want to have your name on the channel, then you can. If you don't let me know, then I will put you as almost anonymous. So, um, yeah, let me know and don't forget to add them in. So here's the next one. Grab your drink of choice. Sit back and relax and add a little something, something to it because it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Hold the and get drink, deine Wahl. Die Hände in den Schoß legen. Füge dazu etwas. Da ist es fünf Uhr irgendwo. We like that, don't we? Yes. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yes. <laughs> So as you can see, that lovely lady had her fur babies there and I love the fact that people are joining in and being part of this channel. This is what I want. I want to give back to you guys and make sure that you're part of this. We're a community. So, right, the children. I have done various videos on this already, but I want to show you because I have seen more often than not in the comments where people have said that they believe that Archie looks like Megan. Now, I want to say that if you look at baby Harry, and I'll put a picture up here, some of the pictures up here, you will see that Archie looks like Harry. And I do believe, as I've said before, that Archie is Harry's. Now, the other questions that I've seen are, people have said, well, why doesn't the real mother come forward? You know, are the royal family complicit in this? So the real mother hasn't come forward because, in all honesty, why would she? The only type of person that may come forward would be someone who is hungry for fame or wanting uh, that notoriety. And what I would imagine is that this particular person would probably want to stay quiet. She would want to protect the relationship with uh, the child. So... If you're going to come out publicly, then you're going to expose your child. So the, the chances are she's a good mum and she is not wanting to expose that side of things. 
there could also be an NDA or something that has been written where she's been given, say, some some money and they basically said you cannot talk about this. So there's also that side of it as well. You've got to remember that this would be potentially, in a way, a royal child because it would have Ch Harry's DNA. So the other thing in regards to that is also why would the royal family be complicit in this? Now, if we're going with the concept that I believe, whereas Harry has got somebody pregnant, and I will cover this as why I think this as well. I have done other videos on this, but this is for the people that have not listened to those videos. And also because some new things might have been coming out, etc. So why would the royal family go along with this? Now, some people have said, myself included, that could there be some form of blackmail going on? And I have thought a little bit more about this. Um, and I'm going to try and do this in a way that my memory, because it's trying to recall things, which can be a little bit difficult. And so if I talk about things and I miss things, I do try, I will try and rectify that on another, uh, maybe on another video if I've forgotten something. So if we're going with the rule of thumb that I believe that that Harry got somebody pregnant why would the royal family go along with this well for two reasons one because to protect Harry now an illegitimate child is is not something that I think is worth lying about especially given the fact that you're in a sense lying to the world it's a huge thing. Um, so I would more than likely think that it's to protect the mother, the mother of the child, because if it's if something happened and there's been obviously rumours that have gone around of the fact that Harry has not behaved very nicely towards women. There was things that come out in regards to when he was uh, in the military other things have come out. We've seen how Harry speaks about women in his book. He's very misogynistic. He doesn't really care about women, in my opinion. I feel like he's got a lot of unresolved anger when it comes to his mum. I feel there's Oedipus complex, which is unhealthy. So you, you, if you look at all of those factors, then you're potentially looking at the fact that Harry has treated somebody not very nice and they ha has ended up falling pregnant. The amount of drinking and the these that Harry has done, I'm sorry, but I do not believe for one second that he was very thoughtful and had protection every single time he slept with somebody. So the, so the, the odds of him getting somebody else pregnant are quite high, in my opinion. And it would explain why the royal family have become complicit because they would want to protect, say, the mother and the child. But then also, in a way, when you've got the fact that Harry... And Meghan are together, and if and if it's happened whilst uh, either leading up to the wedding, um, I don't have all the answers. I just want to clarify. This is just kind of what I'm thinking of the reasons why the royal family would be complicit in a lie. Now I know that some people think that a surrogate would have happened, but Meghan, you've got to look at the fact that this is Meghan is not a normal normal woman in a sense and whereas a lot of a lot of normal women wouldn't mind having a surrogate and that wouldn't be an issue but you've got to look at the scenario of Meghan deciding she's already got what she wants she's already got Harry she's married him so she's pretty much got what she wants now some people have said that having a child in the line of succession is what she would want so then you've got to think to yourself, why would she then decide to have a surrogate? And then she's got to then have the discussion, say, with Harry or the royal family and say, I want a child. This child has to be in the line of succession. We're going to use a surrogate and you can't tell anyone. Why would the royal family go along with that? So there has to be reasons why the royal family would go along with a surrogate and create the lie. And it just doesn't track to me. It doesn't track for the fact that Megan's already got what she wanted. The only possible plausible thing would be that she would then want a child in the line of succession. Now, I know that people have said that they believe that she's had a hysterectomy. I have seen no credible evidence. I cannot find one video of the fam Markle family saying this, 
of anything apart from one article that I found which I did put up and, I've, and I don't think I've deleted it if I haven't deleted it I will put that up here um where it mentions her having her rest it mentions her having a hysterectomy now if that's the case why are then the Markle family insistent on or were insistent on the fact that there are grandchildren because if they believe that she'd had a hysterectomy, then surely they wouldn't then know that there's no, there's no child. There's no grandchildren. So then, of course, people have said, well, she potentially froze her eggs. OK, yes, that's very plausible. But then that goes to the fact that we come back to either she was pregnant or there was a surrogate. Now, I, I'm sorry, but I have eyes and I get that people say that they some still believe she was pregnant. And like I said, if you haven't watched my video on the bump, please go and watch that because there I do not believe at all that she was pregnant. People mentioned the weight gain. I have covered that. There are ways she's she's in the in the arena of, of actors. So she knows how to weight gain for movies and drop weight very quickly. Actresses have been pretending to be pregnant in films for years. So she would know how to do this. The weight gain is not enough to say that she was pregnant in my opinion she doesn't act like a mum it's just all very weird and then you have the way they come out days after the child was allegedly born and they bring out this this child and and I will put these videos up to show you so there is uh someone sh showed me um the like uh, a bit like the reborn dolls and at one point in the video where they're standing with this you know when they present say Archie to the world um Harry is pressing his thumb very hard on the child this if it's supposed to be a child and now I don't believe because of the way he is I don't believe he is this this is a child that they're holding in this moment they're very weird in the fact that the, this child never moves this baby never mumbles grumbles uh his eyes flicker nothing it literally just lays there and you see Harry digging his thumb in, which then tracks with this video that I'm about to show you, where you have a button, which if you press the button, it shows breathing. It, it, it's a mechanism inside that, that creates the, the, the doll to breathe up and down. This lady makes these dolls and the mechanism is inside, as you can see, and it creates the breathing so to create the, the doll to look more lifelike. And then here you see where she's put the doll together and how lifelike. I'm sorry, but if you weren't really looking, you would, I would think that was a real baby. So to me, that they can quite easily pass this off um, as, as a child bringing out the alleged Archie. And this is another one where she's put the mechanism inside. And in a minute, you will see where she presses the button for the breathing mechanism to come on. Now to me, and you can position this button anywhere, and to me, this is exactly what I feel Harry was doing. He was trying to find the mechanism, push it down, because he knew the zoom lenses were coming in to focus on the baby, the doll, and to create the breathing uh, aspect of the, the doll to, uh, to start working. But you can clearly see, like with this woman's hand moving up and down, that look, you can see the breathing. And like I say, to the untrained eye, this could, you could pass this off as a baby. And I genuinely, I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but I genuinely believe that's exactly what they did. And I wonder if he was trying to find this mechanism to press it to make it almost look, because he would know that the zoom lenses would be zooming in and it was a bit weird when he was trying to do this. And then at certain points, you've got Megan almost putting her hand up over the face of the doll to almost cover, especially when they say, can we have a closer look? There's just something very odd about the whole thing. And then we have the fact that people have said that Harry said something like babies change in two weeks. Um, so was the real Archie, who is potentially Harry's, but, but the, the woman's born prior because there was also things that come out about the Queen visiting, is it Frogmore Cottage? Um, 
before the birth of Archie, the alleged birth of Archie, the fact that, like I said, she never had her Diana moment um, on the hospital steps. She's a narcissist. She would have absolutely have wanted that to eclipse, um, again, you know, Diana and Catherine. She would have absolutely wanted to do that. She didn't. This whole thing of like wanting to keep things private. She's a narcissist that doesn't track. You, you wouldn't want to keep the, we never heard anything about the birth. We never heard anything about her weight gain of how she managed or how, you know, whether she had morning sickness, what she ate, what she didn't eat. We've had nothing about whether, what toys they like, don't like, how she lost her baby weight, nothing, nothing. And like I say, she's a narcissist. So she would be shouting this from the rooftops. She would want it all about me. What a great mother I am. So we never had that. So if this was a surrogate, you then have to look at the fact that, like I've said before, that Meghan would then have to put up with the fact that Harry is the biological father of this child and a surrogate uh, and has a surrogate's DNA. Now, like I said, I don't believe that she had her eggs frozen and she had them put into a surrogate because, again, this then creates that she has pretty much zero control over this situation and she would have wanted control. You then have the fact that, say, this particular, say, person has uh, Harry and Meghan's DNA, the child. Say, if it was from a surrogate, Meghan didn't want to be pregnant. Because we already know that she said this in regards to Trevor. She didn't want to be pregnant because she didn't want a figure to change. So we have the fact that then she's allowed some woman, random woman, to be pregnant with her and Harry's child. You're then telling me that this woman then decided to keep the child? I don't believe that for one second. The only plausible scenario is that... Well, there is no plausible scenario, actually. There isn't. Because if the child is Meghan and Harry's, there's no way that this woman who's a surrogate could then go especially given that this is a royal child, could then go, you know what, actually, I've decided that I don't like Meghan, so I'm going to keep this child. And you're telling me that Meghan would be okay with this particular woman keeping her child. It just, it just wouldn't happen. Now, if this woman is the birth mother, say, for example, and this person was a surrogate, then could she potentially keep this child? Now, I don't know the laws. I don't. But if Harry is the biological father, and given the fact that he is a member of the royal family, surely there would be things that would have been able to put in place where Harry would have precedent over, you know, because this child is of the crown. If the royal family stepped in and said, I'm sorry, but you've used a surrogate, we there, there, there would be a contract. There is absolutely no way, in my opinion, that a surrogate could then turn around and go, yeah, I've changed my mind, I'm keeping the child. There would have been so much paperwork involved with someone carrying a royal child that this just wouldn't have happened, in my opinion. Just no way that this the, 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 the surrogate would be able to then go, well, it doesn't matter that you're, <laughs> I've, I'm carrying a royal child here. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping this child. They would have, ha this person would have had to have signed a contract to state that whatever money has changed hands, whatever it is, that once this child was born, the child would be handed over and it would be ironclad. This is a royal child. So this is why I do not believe this child is the child of a surrogate. Now, it would make sense if Harry has got somebody pregnant because then they have no standing whatsoever. And it would make sense for the royal family to, maybe if they didn't know in the beginning, but they know now, to step in and say, okay, well, we need to keep this very quiet. If you're not going to uh, split up, because what I would imagine possibly happened was this happen Harry found out that somebody's got pregnant they would have had a conversation and it is very possible that they thought that this would split Harry and Meghan up now Meghan who does not want to lose her cash cow because you've got to remember she's got everything she wants right now even having two children does not um keep you together as we know with uh, Prince Charles at well Prince Charles as he was then and Princess Diana 
they had two children together and that didn't keep them together so she wouldn't be doing this to keep hold of harry because that that wouldn't matter but i think that they possibly thought that this would potentially because harry has been unfaithful and he was unfaithful in the beginning with her he was seeing other women at the time so to me he looked miserable at the wedding so it is very possible that he's stepped out and been unfaithful she's not going to want to lose her cash cow there is no way that she would accept that so what she's potentially done is said to harry no i'm not leaving you're not going to embarrass me you're not going to humiliate me like this at the end of the day this is going to look very bad for you if you decide that you're that we're splitting up because you've been unfaithful what I, but what i will do is i will stand by you and I will pretend to be pregnant. And so we'll keep it quiet. So I won't be humiliated and we won't suffer the humiliation of a divorce and the fact that you've divorced an American uh, black woman. Uh, because that's that's what she would be saying because we know that she's all about the race card. And I think the royal family would have potentially looked at this as uh, also political of this is really bad for for the especially the relations between the US and UK because Harry has now done something and it looks really bad so they've looked at all of the optics and what so what they've come to is let's keep this quiet let's protect the woman and the child Meghan will pretend to be pregnant and that is kind of how it went and it also then explains how at that time they were very happy being in the UK. Aside from all of the stuff that's come out since then where she's said that she felt suicidal, etc., which I don't buy at all, but they were very happy in the UK doing their thing because they were getting all the coverage, all the media attention, etc. When it started to go wrong was when I believe the me British media started to call her out for the bullying allegations and things were starting to get leaked about her behaviour. And the royal family at this point would also be very aware of her behaviour. So they probably would have thought that maybe her finding out that Harry's been unfaithful would be, that's it, we're done. But no. So she's gone along with this. And this is why if you look at her behaviour when she was pregnant, that's why we had the moon bump flashes. That's why we had her really not caring what she looked like, what she did, because she would know the royal family knew the truth. The media knew the truth. And there was nothing that anyone could say. She was completely protected. So she was flaunting, toying with the royal family and the royal family would know this. So she's kind of got them on the back foot here because she's got leverage now. She's pretended to be pregnant. She's covered up for them as well. So if it got leaked, she would say, they forced me to do this. They did not want a, uh, uh, Harry to have a child, a white child, even though Archie now looks white, um, etc. So I think that this is, and I understand that people say, well, this could be very conspiracy theorist. I completely get that. It, it does sound like that. It sounds like it's from a movie, but... Like I've said, you've got to remember that Megan is a narcissist. I do not believe that she would willingly want to get pregnant. And I know, like I said, that people have said, yes, but you would, she would want a child in the line of succession. This child is not in the line of succession in a literal sense. It is on the website, but, but there, to be in the line of succession, this child, would, you'd have to believe that Megan was pregnant. Even if you still want to go with the theory of a surrogate, this still would mean the child should not be in the line of succession. But there is no way, in my opinion, that a surrogate would be allowed to keep a child when it has royal DNA. So this is why I think in the very beginning, it is very possible that the child we saw, a, a baby, not the one that they brought out, because I, I don't believe that was a... a I don't. Um, but... When they, uh, there was there was certain footage of, you know, you, you look at the way that Megan held Archie, especially in Duck Duck Rabbit. Um, she doesn't hold, a, it's like she has no idea how to hold a child. There is no maternal instinct in her whatsoever. I believe that certain videos and pictures that we saw in the very beginning 
were potentially of the real Archie. And this is when they were still in the UK, right? So I possibly, what I have been sent and what I've heard um, is that the real mother in the beginning allowed Megan to spend time with Archie. Now something happened where apparently she was not happy with the way Megan was treating Archie. So she stepped in and said, I don't want Megan having anything to do with Archie. Now, what I've also heard, and it makes sense to me, is this is why Megxit happened. Megxit didn't happen because they wanted to leave and go and have their own life. Megxit happened because Megan at the time was being called out for all of her bullying. There were so many things coming out. And then this, the last straw being the Archie situation where she was now not allowed to spend time with, with Archie. How are they going to make that happen whilst they're here in the UK? Especially when you've got things where all the family come together. When you've got certain situations, it would look very odd if the if they stayed in the UK and we never saw Megan with a child. There's no way, given a royal child, that you could hide that here. So I think the real mother stepped in and said, "I don't want, I don't want this anymore. This is too much." So I have a feeling, like I said, from things that I have been sent and, and the things I believe in myself, that Megxit happened because they basically sent Megan packing. They said, enough. We, we, we're not dealing with her, her, the bullying. We're not dealing with any of this. Now the last story is that the way she's treating Archie, we cannot have this anymore. So I believe they then sent her to Canada. Harry stayed behind. Now, they created this whole thing of the Sandringham Summit, et cetera, et cetera, about, you know, you know, them wanting half in, half out, so to speak. What I think that was, was they were discussing with Harry about how they were going to make this work. Meghan was no longer welcome in within the royal circles because she'd been caught doing certain things, from what I've heard. She wasn't allowed in certain places because that she, there, she was caught doing things. So I think that she was removed to Canada. Um, and then Harry was in a way made to decide what he was going to do. Was he going to stay here in the UK and somehow create it to, to be where he could be here and then maybe be over there at certain points, but he would, he, I don't believe he wanted to leave because he had a chance to leave. He dated two women for, was it six years or so, um, who was very serious about one being Chelsea Davy. And he had the opportunity to leave at any point and he didn't and he didn't. So I don't believe he wanted out. I think I, I believe he hated the press, but I think because he hated the negative press he was getting at times. I don't believe anything else. Um, but I think he wanted his cake and eat it. He loves all the notes. This is why he's trying to act like a royal in America. He doesn't want to ditch being royal. He loves being royal. It's his whole identity. Megan wants all the adulation and, and, and everything that comes with being a royal. So she doesn't want to leave that behind as well. But she would be furious. If she's being booted out, she would be absolutely fuming. And so then we get the pap walk in Canada. While Harry is in the UK, we get the pap walk in Canada where she does that crazy pap walk where it's so obvious it's a doll. And I'll put, if I can find the footage, I'll put this up now. But you can certainly see by the pictures. So look at the way the leg is flopping around, the left leg mainly. You can see it, it's it's so clear. There's just no way a child um, just flops around like that. You've got the fact that she's holding the, the, the doll around the neck, um, which you just wouldn't wouldn't be doing. You wouldn't hold a child around the neck like that. You've got string attached to to hold the arm up the, the fact that the strap is flopping down around her shoulder which means that the child has got there's no weight to this doll at all um and i just think it's this was so obvious this was so obvious to me that uh that this is what she was doing she knew exactly what she was doing she was grinning for the camera it's back grid again so she knew she absolutely knew
You can see, you can see with eyes that this, she's grinning from ear to ear. She has, she is holding, and this is what I think was happening. She knew that was going to feed back to Harry and the royal family. And I think that, that this panicked them because Harry didn't want the truth coming out. And I think that they've said, you're going to have to leave. You're going to have to go. You're going to have to sort this out with her because it, it, it's going to expose everything. And so Harry was forced into leaving. Now, I know that some people have said, but then why does he want an apology for Meghan? Because at the end of the day, she's calling the shots. She's got the leverage. She's got, if you don't do this, I'm going to expose everything. And that could even be back to having a tape on Harry. Um, you know, because some people have said, well, and even I've said the Andrew stuff. And I've thought about that. And even though I said that it's possible that she's blackmailing the royal family and to do with Andrew, I do believe and I stand by the fact that I think that she knows Andrew. And I do have pe things that people have sent to me to, to say that she did circulate in the in the yacht circle um, and Andrew was her first target. He did uh, have relations with her and then he ghosted her in a sense. And so she then set her sights on infiltrating the royal family. So, but do I think that that's enough to create, um, I, I feel it's a problem, definitely. But I also think that, that she wouldn't expose that because it would also make her look just as bad. Because at the end of the day, she wasn't a, a, a young person then. She was an older person. So even though he's a bit of a perv, He's not doing anything wrong. It's going to make, but it's going to create the truth in regards to her being part of the yacht scene. So that's in a way it's going to make her look just as bad. So she wouldn't want that exposed, which is why I also believe it was shut down with Andrew with the court case, because I, they didn't want she was going to be called as a witness and they didn't want the truth coming out. So in a way it was protecting her as well. Because I think that she was part of it, but I do believe that she has created this leverage by pretending to be pregnant. Like I said, if a, if the surrogate was used, they would have had ironclad end, uh, ironclad contract. This woman would not have been able to keep this child. But it does make more sense to me if the child um, is of of uh, illegitimate, because Meghan then would hate the fact that Harry has got a child with another woman. And explains why she hates Archie and never really talks about him. But then it also explains why she's got away with all of this. She then decides that she wants a child of her own. She wants, she needs a child to eclipse Archie. She cannot have it just about Archie. Because even though the, the public are believing Archie's hers, she knows Archie isn't hers. So she would want her ch a child of her own. In steps Lily. And this was an adoption that was going to happen. The original child was Mary Diana or Diana Mary, sorry. Um, but it didn't go ahead. So on the birth certificate, this child is called Diana Mary. So they then couldn't have the child the same name. So, of course, to be spiteful, Megan chooses Lily Bear. And, if, and, in, and, and in all honesty, I don't think Harry knew. I mean, I know some people might disagree with that. Harry has been petulant and I don't think for one second he's blameless in anything. But I, something tells me that he did go to his, his grandmother about the name, which is why they've alluded it to being Lily Bear, but it wasn't. I think it was Mary. And she probably did agree with that, or it was Elizabeth, one of the two. But I don't think they would have chosen Elizabeth because of the fact that Charlotte's already got this name. So uh, I think that she would have taken Diana because obviously she's got this obsession with Diana. And so they, they need, she needed to come up with another name. Oh, I'm going to go into a hot flush. <sighs> Um, and so, yeah, this is this is this is what I think. I think that then they because the original domain name was Diana Mary. Then all of a sudden around uh, is it uh, whenever it was, I can't remember, but all of a sudden it was changed and the domain name of uh, Lily Bet Diana was brought up. So I think that because Diana Mary had been taken, they had to then create a new name. And so she's panicking at the moment I would imagine because she hasn't got a child there there isn't a there isn't a female child with them 
But because they're in America, they've created this privacy where they bring a child out. And I'm going to show you some videos now, which I have done on a, just a very cheap app. So it shows you what could be done with an expensive AI app. So I want you to watch these videos and then tell me, obviously, in the comments what you think. This is why I don't believe that the pictures they're showing us are the same. So here we have two pictures that they are of Ar the alleged Archie. And if you look at these two pictures where they're supposed to be a very similar age, you can see that the shape of the face is completely different. The ears are completely different, so it's not the same child. So again, I've slowed this down for you so you can see this. So like I say, I'm going to show you two pictures that I have, this one and the one before. And then when you blend them together, you can see it's not the same child. What I believe they're doing is that they're doing what I'm a similar thing to what I'm doing here, blending different photographs together. And you'll see in the next one when I show you Lily, um, they're blending um, pictures of a baby. But then what they're doing, and it's possible that they're taking the original Archie, uh, who I believe possibly could be this this one. Um, and then they're editing and blending photographs of Meghan and Harry, of, of baby Meghan and Harry, because I know that some people have said that that uh, the, the pictures that we see of Archie look very similar to Meghan. But if you also look at baby pictures of Harry, which I will show you in the video that I'm doing, um, you will see that a baby, baby Harry looks also very, very similar to Archie. So... I believe that the Archie is Harry's, but not Meghan's. And like I say, you can see the shape of the ears are very different. So yeah, not the same. So here we have again the same type of thing where I've taken a picture of the Stacey Schrober daughter and a picture of a baby Meghan and I've blended them together. So you can see that even with the really cheap software that I've got, if you blend the two together, they create a picture that's very similar to the picture that we were led to believe is Lily. With the teeth, uh, just just the, the ears, you know, to me, everything is very, very similar. You can see when you blend the two together that it creates a similar version to the Lily that we were shown to be at Frogmore Cottage, which we now know wasn't true. So this is what I think they're doing. And if you can see that I can do this with cheap software, you can imagine what can be done with really expensive software. So again, I'm going to show you again, just so you can see in case the video is moving too fast. Um, I have taken a picture of Stacey Schrober's daughter and a picture of baby Megan. And I've superimposed the two of them together and blended them. And like I say to me, you can see that it creates an almost identical version of Lily, the picture that we've seen that is Lily. Um, and this is what I think they're doing. I think they're, I'm not saying that they're now using Stacey Schrober's daughter. I don't know for sure, but the child looks very, very similar. And I think that they were doing the same thing with Archie where they were taking uh, Bryn Gingras, I think her name is. She was definitely the person in the Oprah interview. The child was definitely that child in the Oprah interview. Um, and I think, I'm not saying that they're doing that now because obviously the child is older, but yeah. This app is taking social media by storm. Users upload pictures of themselves and the app creates AI generated images of what their future children could look like. But is it safe? And what exactly are you signing off on when using it? 
The I-Team is getting answers. Daisy Reyes is a self-proclaimed TikTok influencer with nearly 500,000 followers. I'm always looking at what's the upcoming trend, the new trends, and I've seen every, literally everybody doing this trend, so you already know I had to hop on it. Reyes says she recently downloaded the Remini app, which allows users to see what their future children could look like. She uploaded a picture of herself and her boyfriend Rex, and boom, an image of her future baby generated by artificial intelligence. So as you can see now in the day and age of AI, it is very plausible to create and fabricate a, a being. And with all the technology that they have, and why do you think that she, she only works with Miss Anne Harriman? Because he's probably in on it as well. He has to be because he, he created that doctored photograph of Lily at Frogmore, which was not her. You know, you've got, and I'll put the pictures up here, you've got Megan looking very young with a very young Lily. Uh, Lily, And then, but apparently this particular Lily, the next one, the photo I'm showing you, which I've shown you already in another app, uh, in another video, uh, was doctored. And I've shown you that video of how to doctor the, the, these 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 photos and that's why you're seeing pictures coming out that look like Archie that look like Megan because I believe they are doing they're editing and manipulating photographs to create the illusion that these children are theirs like I've said I believe Archie is Harry's but I absolutely with all of my instincts just it tells me that if a surrogate was used for Archie, there is no way a surrogate would be able to keep hold of a royal child. Um, you know, I came, you know, may, maybe the royal family stepped in and they left the child with the mother, but that doesn't track either because why wouldn't Harry want his child with him? It, it, it to me, it doesn't make sense. Harry's not very paternal. But then, like I've said, it has to be something big enough that the royal family would go along with a lie. And I don't think a surrogate is a big enough lie. She's already got what she wanted. She's married Harry. But it makes sense if Harry has stepped out, been unfaithful, got somebody pregnant, and she's gone along with it, that she's now got this huge leverage and there's nothing anyone can do. Because she would literally come out and say, they made me do it. Now, I know that some people have mentioned the royal family, um, uh, the, uh, sorry, the Kenzie, the surrogate post that went up and then got immediately taken down on Twitter at the time. If you look at the first tweet, it says Frogmore Cottage at the bottom right. Then if you look at other tweets around the same sort of time frame with the same Kensington Palace, it doesn't have that. So again, we're going to look at that. So it says Frogmore Cottage. And who was living at Frogmore Cottage at that time? Harry and Meghan. So it is very plausible to me that Harry and Meghan put that tweet out trying to get in front of it um, for the royal family. And then the royal family saw that and took it down because there isn't any other explanation. I don't believe the royal family put that up there. I think Harry or Meghan did or part of their team and I think that the reason they put the surrogate up there is because um, they probably wanted to create a ruse as in to make it seem believable that it was a surrogate rather than Harry having an affair with somebody. That's just my opinion. They have created the, yes, it was from a surrogate, but because this, then they're absolutely lying, it would make more sense then to take that down. Or it's fake. I mean, I know it's got the blue tick, so maybe it's not. I don't know. But it's possible that they thought about putting that up, but then realised the ramifications of putting that up and took it down again. Because like I said, the biggest thing for me is if a child was born of a surrogate with Harry and Meghan's DNA, there is no nothing in the land that would create that, that would allow this woman to keep the child. Even if Meghan treated the child badly... This is still her child. And we'd see the child. She would use this child to eclipse Charlotte, especially. But she doesn't. We never see her apart from some weird orchestrated photo video 
um, we don't see them out and about in a normal setting. They're always going away without the children, or there's always an illusion of the children, like or like recently on Megan went skiing with the children. Well, where are they then? What? So no pap photos of the children. Even Diana, who was one of the most famous women in the world at the time, was was seen with her children. It just it doesn't add up to me. It doesn't. But it does if it's Harry that's been unfaithful and. It happened while he was pregnant with Megan and she didn't want to lose him or lose her cash cow. So she said, I'll help you and I'll go along with it. I'm not putting up, I'm not going to have this humiliation. She got the final say with that. You know, you're not, you know, we've just got married. You're not humiliating me like this by it coming out publicly that. And, and, and I believe the royal family at the time would have had to have go along with that because they because they wouldn't want that for her. And then they probably wouldn't want it for the real mother either. I, I, I don't know. These are just things that I, the way my brain works, it's just the way my brain works. And because I understand narcissists, I have spent years and years and years studying narcissists and how they behave. And to me, her just deciding one day that she wanted to use a surrogate just doesn't, doesn't track because she wouldn't want to lose control. Like I said, the fact that the the Markles of one minute, you know, I'm hearing that, that she had a hysterectomy. Well, if that's the case, then she why are they then saying that they want to see the grandchildren? And then now I say it's coming out. There are no grandchildren. Well, yeah, that's true. There are no Markle grandchildren. I'm sad to say it, but there are they're not. Now, whether or not she's had a child previously, I don't know. Now, again, some people have said, could it be Ashley's? Again, no credible evidence of this whatsoever. But if that was the case, then I still believe we'd be seeing her out and about with this child. She would be using the children and she wouldn't be not hiding them because she doesn't want the attention away from her. Her being seen as a wonderful mother would be absolutely what she wants because it would eclipse Catherine. You've got to remember her whole thing is against Catherine. She hates Catherine how Catherine's seen as a beautiful person, a wonderful mother. So she would be doing anything she possibly can to eclipse that. And the daughter, the alleged daughter that they don't have, would be used to eclipse Charlotte. She would be in designer gear. She'd be out and about. Uh, it, would all, it would be all, every time we saw Charlotte, there'll be a picture of Megan coming out with, with, with Lily. We don't see it at all. So this is why... This is why I believe what I believe. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, please, as always, keep it respectful because, like, you know, I do try to, you know, create this little community where we can all discuss things. I don't mind if you disagree with me. I get plenty of you that do. And I love the fact that you keep it respectful in disagreeing. But if you're going to come in with really with nastiness, which to be fair, most of you don't. And it's only like the cult squad that seem to infiltrate sometimes. But I will remove those comments. For some reason, YouTube is censoring. So if you are not seeing your comment, I'm really sorry. But it's not me, especially if it's a respectful comment. Um, I don't know why YouTube are doing this, but they just seem to do this periodically where they cer certainly try and censor people's comments. Um so if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you don't want to miss future uploads, then please think about doing so. Um, if you want to write to me, you can. I have a PO box in the description box below of all of my videos. If you haven't um, seen my email addresses there as well, so you can contact me via email. Uh, you can um, follow me on all of my other platforms that I am on. You can buy my bubble merchandise. If you would like to treat me to a cuppa because you are supporting what I do here, then please also think about doing so. But again, it's not necessary. Always put yourself first and foremost. Um, as I've said before in the last video, it is Mother's Day coming up on Sunday. So I want to give a big heartfelt you know sort of mother happy mother's day to all of you mums out there all of you people that have got mums but also i want to give um a heartfelt um support to anyone that has lost their mother 
or perhaps lost a child and so this is going to be a really difficult time for you on uh, you know on Sunday and I know it's diff different in the US it's I think it's not Mother's Day in the US so these are for anyone that is mothering Sunday uh, this coming Sunday so my heart does go out to all of you no matter what you're going through whether you're having this moment as a time of reflection or whether it's going to be a painful time for you you know please just take that time to be kind to yourself it is not easy and I do understand that but also you know happy Mother's Day to everyone who's got a fur baby because as you know with my little one behind and my other little puss cats um I'm also a mummy fur baby mummy uh, mummy fur baby is that right a, a mum to, to fur babies um so you know there, there's there's that too um so I hope that you enjoy your weekend whatever you're doing and I do apologize that this video is slightly a bit longer but it's very difficult to get everything out and do it in such a short uh time frame uh and also, I want to say thank you to the person who sent me the mint flavoured cream Oreos. Thank you, but not thank you. Thank you, because they're so yummy. Um, but not thank you, because my waistline doesn't thank you. Oh, hello, Arthur. You just, uh, you've just perked up, have you? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you. Well, I wasn't talking about you then, actually. It was mint Oreos. Um, but I love you more. I love you more than mint Oreos. Do you? Um, so, yeah, so thank you um, for people that are sending me things. I, I don't know whether... I mean, obviously you can tell that I don't need feeding. Um, but I think people think I do because they keep sending me food. <laughs> I am very grateful. I am very grateful. But my waistline isn't... Um, <laughs> But thank you to, to, to all of you. Um, I do, I must admit, Oreos are a bit of a fave of mine. Um, so yeah, so I do appreciate that. So as always, um, thank you. And I will see you in next week's video. Um, and I love you. I appreciate you. And so does Arthur. And I'll see you. And, but most of all, I respect you. Take care. Bye-bye.